Good afternoon, everyone. Today we're going to talk about the foundation, the early foundation of the 13 colonies, the English colonies, if you will. As we all know, Christopher Columbus sailed the ocean blue in 1492. Shortly thereafter, Spain conquered, of course, much of Mexico and South America. But Spain wasn't very interested in North America. I mean, the silver was in South America. And other than silver, who cares? Yeah, that, that pesky area north, yeah, who cares about that? So eventually, different countries came in, and they colonized parts of it. You know, you know, Russia got part of, you know, this area, and France got part of this area, and the Netherlands got part of this area, and eventually, England came, starting in 1517. They founded a colony on Roanoke Island, off the coast of Virginia. However, within six years, all the people on it were dead, completely gone. Everyone in Roanoke had died. And in fact, recent archaeological evidence uh, with the uh, bone markings seemed to indicate that the people there were apparently hungry and they actually resorted to cannibalism. How's that for the founding of America? Now, you might ask, why was this first attempt at colonization so bad? Why did everything go wrong? Most likely because the first colonies had a crazy, dumb idea that they could just show up, trade a little, make a lot of money, and go home. They didn't even think about the fact that they needed food to get through the winter. It didn't seem to occur to them that they would have to eat. So, they didn't even think about setting up farms and growing food. And so when winter came, they were hungry. And then, you know, they did what most people do when they get hungry, which of course is eat one another. Anyways, this delayed future plans that England had for the area. They kind of slowed down and said, whoa, 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 this doesn't work so well. We don't want to have a bunch of people show up at Roanoke and then disappear. People actually invested in these colonies. They put money in to make profit. And obviously, when everyone dies, it is not very profitable. It's not, you, get a, you don't get a very good return on investment. But in 1617, a joint stock company tried again. And they uh, landed in Virginia, and they founded a colony based on their on the King of England, King James I, and so it became known as Jamestown. Now, these colonists did not learn the lesson of Roanoke, and they did not come prepared to make it through the winter. And many, in fact, died of starvation, especially when the winter had hit and they didn't have any food. The colony almost fell apart and almost went the way of Roanoke, uh, except that a uh, courageous man by the name of Captain John Smith came in, saved the day, told everyone what to do. He made people start farming. But even then, he was lucky because he got saved by the famous Native American Pocahontas, and if he hadn't, he probably would have died, and with it, the colony of Jamestown. Now, this colony, like Roanoke, came into existence because people invested in it, and when people only invest because they want to get something in return. And needless to say, the colony was barely surviving, so they weren't making any money. They weren't profiting from it. But then Virginians did, in fact, discover a quick and easy way to make money, and it was through growing, buying, and selling tobacco. And this became the first real cash crop of the United States of America and set the stage for the future of this country, because eventually people would realize that they needed huge numbers of people to work the tobacco fields, and the only way for them to adequately do that was to import slaves from Africa. So needless to say, this had a huge impact on the future trajectory and course of the United States of America. Meanwhile, a colony, uh, colonies to the north of Virginia were founded a little bit differently. The extremely devout followers of Calvin, uh, who were living in England, uh, the Puritans, uh, found themselves at odds with the Stuart dynasty. They didn't particularly care for the king. And they wanted to escape. They tried, of course, Holland. They tried, of course, France. And nowhere, nowhere seemed to work. Finally, they just went off and they tried to go to the Americas. They were going to go to Virginia. They got on the boat, the Mayflower. They went to Virginia. And then the wind kind of blew them a little bit off course. Just a little bit. They ended up, of course, in Massachusetts. And then they set up a colony in Plymouth, and they created a safe haven, a place for Puritans to go and worship and be away from the King of England. And they were dedicated to self-government and religious ideas. They even, along the way, uh, had a what had on the boat had written what was called Mayflower Compact, where they were dedicated to ruling and taking care of their own selves. 
and it became a haven for Puritan ideals. And Governor John Winthrop even said that they were trying to build a city on a hill. So even though the colony did have its challenges, it did become a success story up in Massachusetts. This set the stage for uh, different styles of colonies, as you can see right from the get-go. The North was more Puritan, uh, in a sense more religiously devout, not that the South was a religious, and the South wanted to farm for a quick buck, wanted to be able to make a cash crop, grow it, and sell it. The North, with its poor soil, couldn't do that at all. And this eventually would lead to slavery in the South, which would change the course of history. So you can see, even at the very beginning, North and South were immediately beginning to develop in different ways. And the, the, the big question now is, how are these little tiny colonies, these places where people are barely, barely surviving, you know, even the Puritans, you know, had to, to reach out for help from Native Americans when they came to Massachusetts, how did these little colonies that were barely surviving, how did they eventually become a great nation and later on a great empire? How is that possible? And that is a study for many other videos throughout the year. In the meantime, I wish you a good afternoon, and I will see you tomorrow, or if it's a weekend, see you on Monday.